Okay, so hello too. My name is Vlad, and uh, what I'll be showing you today is actually an awesome thing. It is a DNS which is used to block ads. Now, there might be some videos online, but this is my shot at it. I will be showing you how to uh, install it, configure it, and well use it. So, first of all, I need to log into my virtual machine. So, just a second, I need to enter my password. So, first of all, let me show you the idea. This is my test virtual 7. So, <clears throat> let's wait until it boots up. Ask me later. Okay. So, As you can see, my DNS is now my router. Well, to be fair, this is my DMZ, which is a private network only used for testing, but... So let me show you. When I visit... Okay, let's visit New York Times. Okay, NewYorkTimes.com. Let's see if there are any ads in here. Okay. So this is loading. So... This is an ad, I guess. This is an advertisement as well. So as you can see, there are a lot of advertisements, I guess. So let's visit Miloš uh, Kolo, which is Croatian, uh, well, Craigslist, I guess. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of ads. Now I'll be showing you the idea behind a uh, network ad blocker, which is Pi-hole, which is an awesome. I've been using it for uh, a couple of months now, I guess, and uh, it's working perfectly. So let me show you the idea. Now I'll be entering my own mm, DNS because I have a public address. Unfortunately, I won't be showing you the address because, well, uh, I don't want to uh, overload my server. Okay, so... I'll be entering my DNS into uh, this field. Now I have entered my DNS. And let me just control shift delete this. I will be deleting everything. As you can see, there are a lot of ads in here. But, okay, this one might load because uh, I didn't close the browser. So let me just control shift delete. Clean now. And let's start Firefox again. And I think that this ad should not load. So there is a field in here, but no ad is loaded. And as you can see, that pop-up ad is nowhere to be found, and you can actually browse the web page as you should. Now, this is actually, uh, I make money off of ads on, on uh, YouTube, but uh, these type of ads, they, they annoy me very much. Anyway, so I'll be showing you how to install and configure your own virtual machine, which you can then uh, use for, uh, well, blocking the ads all over the network. Now, first of all, I'll be creating a new virtual machine, which will be, I'll be naming it Pyho. And uh, it will be a Linux machine, and it will be a 64-bit Ubuntu. And I'll be using, actually, Ubuntu server, version 18. And the reason I will be using version 18 is because there are some issues with version 19, and uh, I, it would, this video will be too long if I needed to explain how to configure it. Anyway, I'll be choosing data store file, and I'll be choosing Ubuntu 18, as you can see. And, uh, okay. So, let's start the pie hole. And let's install it. Basically, it is very easy. It's next, next finish. Well, Linux version of it anyway. So, English. Now the keyboard layout will be Croatian since I do live in Croatia. Done. Install Ubuntu. Oh, just a second, cancel. Uh, so I'll be actually using a static IP address. So, okay. Dot five dot zero slash twenty four. And address will be 
because I want it to be that way and my gateway is uh, this is my pfSense firewall and I will be using name servers uh, Google and uh, I believe this one is Cloudflare. Save. Okay. Uh, I do not need an IPv6. Done. Done. Okay. Done. Use an entire disk. Okay. Done. Continue. Now this is actually installing in the background. My name is Vlad, and this will be Pi Hole. Username will be Vlad. Password will be one two three four. Import SSH no. Done. Now I will be back uh, when this thing finishes actually. Now this thing is usually made to run on um, any, well, as, it, uh, as the title says, Pi Hole, uh, and you can actually install this thing onto a Raspberry Pi or something like that, and it is awesome because it is a very small device. Unfortunately, the logs of this uh, Pi Hole, uh, they tend to take a lot of space, so if you have an SD card, I don't know, maybe not the greatest solution, I guess. So this thing is finished and uh, I'll reboot the computer now okay so this thing is booting up and basically the installation is insanely easy so this thing works with uh, version uh, 18 uh, light TPD has some issues with version 19 anyway let me log in and uh, password is 1234 so let me just see my address which is 5.123 and let's ping Google Okay, so this thing is working perfectly. So the next thing we need to do is clone git. So git clone minus minus depth one https git hub dot com slash pi minus hole slash pi minus hole dot git. I will be actually leaving this thing in the description down below, so there is no need to write it down. Okay, now I need to enter into PyHole Automated install and just run bash basic install.sh. Here I need to enter my root uh, password. And now this thing uh, update will take some time. I guess I should have done uh, up get update and uh, update everything, but this thing will work as well, so there is no need for that. Okay, welcome to the blocker. Yes, yes. Now, uh, personally, I like Cloudflare way better than Google. I do not need IPv6 blocking because I do not have an IPv6. But okay, this is the address for my uh, server. Okay, yes, I want interface. Yes, I want light TBD. Yes, I want to log all queries. And yes, I want to show everything. Okay. As you can see, uh, in this uh, part of here actually updating domains so it looks as though uh, as this thing is uh, configured and you need to write down the uh, login password for the administrator but I will be changing that so let me show you first of all how to change that so control L let's see by whole status which will actually tell us that uh, by whole is working so if I just type by whole I will get uh, this list. I need to type pi hole minus a, which is admin, and when you type minus a, I need to type minus p, which is, uh, well, to change the password. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, this is the new password for the uh, web interface. So, again, if you type pi hole, you have a gravity update minus g which actually updates the uh, block lists. So if for some reason the block lists are not uh, updated automatically, this is the way to do it. 
Now I don't need to be in here anymore. And I can actually close this thing. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, bloody hell. For some reason this thing is not working. Ah, oh, well. By the way, I named it Pi All, not Pi Hole. Ah, oh, well. What can you do? Anyway. Now let's go to my uh, Windows 7. And now, as you can see, I don't have any more ads. Now, again, I will be disabling my own uh, uh, DNS, and I will be showing you that this one actually works. So I did disable my own DNS, and if I refresh this thing, ads should pop up. And there you go. As you can see, there are like shitloads of ads, and I don't have private, I need Oh, seriously, this is why I hate that. Control Shift Delete and delete everything. And uh, now what I'll be doing is actually entering my DNS. Five, one, two, three. And I should be able to browse without ads whatsoever. So let's see whether this thing actually works or not. And just to be clear. Now, oh sorry, wrong tab. Let me log into my web interface. Now, as you can see, did you mean to go to admin panel? And I can actually log in with the new password, which is one two three four. And now, as you can see, I have zero queries blocked. Okay, fair enough. So, if I go to Nushkalo. five queries blocked, six queries blocked. So basically, these are the ads that are blocked, which is awesome, because now I don't need uh, to look at the ads, but the web page itself. And the awesome thing about this thing is that uh, you don't need to have an ad blocker. Well, obviously you do, but you don't. Because if you're using, for example, an Internet Explorer, which some people still, uh, still use, there are no ads whatsoever. So as you can see, even in the Internet Explorer, there are no ads. And uh, if we go to well, Firefox, let's see how many ads have been blocked. Mm -hmm. So uh, 15 queries blocked. Now let me log in to interface just to show you the interface a bit. It is a, a bit, uh, it is a, uh, rather, I guess, easy. Now as you can see, uh, let me just change the resolution a bit. I think I can. Okay, so basically, this is the everything that has been uh, blacklisted and whitelisted. So um, let me see. I show, should show all. Ah, cannot. Basically, whitelisted, whitelisted. So this one or blacklisted. So anyway, long-term data. And actually, now I don't have any long-term data because uh, I've just installed this thing. But here you have some kind of logs. Here you have whitelists, so the domains that you wish to whitelist or well, blacklist. You can disable uh, PyHole permanently for 10 seconds, for 30 seconds, for five minutes, custom time, whatever. And here you have the tool, tool, tools part, which is gravity update, which is for you to update a list of blocked domains. Query lists, find blocked domains in lists, which is awesome, I guess. This is audit log. There are a couple of logs in here, which I do not want to show you at the moment. This is the uh, network. This is the computer I'm browsing from. And this is my uh, well, router. And there are a couple of more settings in here, which we well do not need to talk about. Uh, maybe perhaps restart the NS server in case it halts. It can halt. That's why you can always uh, in the network uh, you can choose uh, alternate DNS in detail, sorry, in uh, properties. So I suggest you use this one, which is 11111, which already blocks uh, malware and stuff and whatnot. I believe that's Cloudflare, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you can disable logging power of system, restart flush logs. If the logs get uh, too uh, big, they tend to uh, mess up uh, entire pie hole and it just stops working. So that's something to uh, think about. Anyway, block list, you can add custom list. DNS servers, DHCP, you can actually d enable DHCP on this thing, which is, I guess, awesome, I guess. 
leases, whatnot, privacy. And this is the, uh, well, to be fair, I'm not quite sure what the teleporter is, but there you have it. And log out, donate, and help. I would actually suggest uh, for you to donate because this is an awesome software and uh, it's actually worth donating too. So there you have it. Um, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I hope you found this useful. And uh, again, uh, this is kind of cool because uh, you can actually have your own uh, ad blocker. And again, the awesome part about this thing is that uh, the website that uh, detects ad blockers cannot detect that you have a bl ad blocker because, well, you don't. So uh, that's pretty much for this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you did, be sure to click thumbs up, subscribe perhaps, and well, if not, not, you know what to do. So until the next time, bye.